Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So yeah, um, 2020 has still not ended and surprisingly, even though the coronavirus was out now, we've been seeing a lot of weddings, especially here in Ghana. So since we are still in the wedding season, today we are going to create one of the wedding designs I did for a client in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this tutorial, as always, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC. And I'll go ahead and create a new document. I'm going ahead to set my width and height to be the exact same um, dimensions. So my width is 2K by, and the height is also 2K and resolution 300 and just click on create the reason why i do this is in case i want to put it on instagram or on whatsapp status or as a whatsapp dp it makes it a lot easier having this um, square shape so yeah uh, first things first let's hold down the control key and press r r to bring up the rulers and i'll just click and drag to the center like so once it just snaps in, you know we have our center. I'll be using two colors for this whole design. So that's um, royal blue and gold. So I'll just, I'll just go ahead and select a golden color. Golden isn't actually uh, fully yellow. It's more like an orange, yellow kind of look. So I think this is okay. So FFEB11, I might change it, but let's just go with this for now. And I'll go with the royal blue color so i'll just sample it from here i think a lot darker looks nice so 061a b6 and let's click on okay so i have my information here this is what i'm going to be using um obviously i have changed the name to something funny because uh i can't use the actual names here so yeah let's go ahead and copy a few of them and start this whole design so um i'm going with the name theo and labby so more like t and um l so i'll start with t now the font i'm using is actually um october twilight i'll try and leave a link in the description below um i actually want to start with save the date so i'll type it in here s a v e i can hardly see what i've typed so you know what let's go with the blue color and just click on ok let me let me zoom in using my zoom tool let me just click fit to screen and see what i'm doing so everything i'm typing so far is in caps i don't want that so i'll go to window and click on character which should be somewhere here and i'll just turn it off right here so i think yeah this is looking good um let me increase the size to about um 36 um or probably just 30 i think 30 looks okay so i'll type in save and i'll type in date so what is left and probably places around here what is left is the word the t so save the date and for that i'll reduce the size so once i highlight i reduce the size to about about 16 should be okay and i'll also place it somewhere around here so we can group all these three holding down shift i'll click on the first one and click on the last one and group them using ctrl g so hold down ctrl and press g to group them up and i'll call this um probably header okay so once i'm done i'll just use the move to v on your keyboard and i'll place this at the center now i'm not going ahead to um adding crazy borders for this one just something simple for this tutorial so to create a few borders i'll just use the rectangle tool you should go into your shapes tool and right click on it you should see the rectangle tool here and i'll just create a rectangle like so whilst holding down the shift key so i have a perfect rectangle um forgive the chicken in the background they they are always disturbing so um let's let's just resize it to make it seem as though you know what let's just make it the exact same size as that and we reduce it afterwards so i'm um, selecting any of the corners clicking on any of the corners i'll hold down the shift and the alt key then i'll click and drag towards the center so i get something like this i think this is looking cool 
so this is the background i'm going to double click and call it background so let me just type it in here and i'll bring this to the bottom like so so this is what we have obviously i'm not going with the yellow color so let's just double click and change it to a white color then i'm going to apply the yellow color at the background probably just blue so with the background we actually we don't need this anymore so i can just go ahead and unlock it by clicking on it and just delete it up so i can go into the adjustment panel which is the fourth icon or the icon uh, at the center from any of these and just click on solid color so i'm going to add in a solid color let's try the blue color and i'm going to place this beneath the background layer so that it is going to be at the back like what we have here um, I think the background is too close so you know what let's stretch it out yeah I think this is looking cool so let's add in the rest of the information I'm going ahead to grab the type tool again this time around I'm going to be typing the initials so um, T and L if it's a name of some people basically that's what you are going to be using so that's what I'm going to type in in there now I'm not obviously going to be using this font the font I'm going with is carbon I'll also try and leave a link in the description below. Uh, for some reason, I started liking this font um, along with Gotham. You know what? Let's use Gotham instead. So I'll go with Gotham um, Bold and also increase the size to about 30. So T and L. T and L. I'm going to make this a smaller size. I don't know why but i think it will look cool if it's smaller so about 18 should be okay and i'll place this somewhere around here now i believe this will look cool if the blue color is much darker so i'll just select it and make it much darker now that i have that color selected i'll just go into the color field double click and select that color yeah i think it looks nicer when it's darker so i'm going with um 050 f5a i knew i'm going to change this at some point so yeah um one little trick instead of highlighting this and going into the color options and just changing the color i i feel it's a long process since i have all of them grouped here like so i can just go into fx and click on color overlay so this is going to put a color on top of the existing color so color overlay is basically self-explanatory so yeah now i have that in there so anything within that group is also going to have that as it's exact same color so i'm going to highlight this and change it to the yellow color and yeah or golden color and this is what we have let me quickly go ahead and save this now let's go ahead and add in the information so i'll copy this and paste it in here highlight everything now i'm not going to be using the gotham boot version so let's go with uh, a lighter version so probably the book version should be okay and obviously reduce the size to about 12 points and change the color to this um, blue color we have up here now i have to just make some few corrections so the family of this is supposed to be a capital letter just some minor changes yeah, I think this is looking cool. I can also reduce the size of this so that um, the families of Theo and Labby um, becomes the main heading rather than having it look like everything else. So I think something like this is okay. And again, let me just go ahead and save it up. So their names are going to come up. So Theo Labby and Theo Na Labina. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So I'll have it one at the right and one at the left. So just paste it in here. So for the one which is going to be on the left hand side, I'm going to make it right align and bring that beneath like so. So this is going to be a capital T and a capital L. Now this is obviously going to be smaller, but this has to be bigger. So I'll go back to the bold version and make it about, I think 36 or probably 30 30 points should be just fine yeah i think 30 points is just fine and i'm also going to reduce the distance between um, the text steel and the text lobby i think it's too wide so i'll highlight the bottom one go back to the character again just window click on character and 
as you see that option over here so clicking to the left close it up to the right clicking and dragging to the right open setup so i think somewhere around here should be fine 26 points looks cool let's let's make it 30 yeah i think 30 looks cool so i'll be doing the exact same thing on the right hand side but instead of copying and pasting i can just duplicate so click and drag and drop it on to the second icon from the right now that creates a duplicate for you and i'll move that using my move tool i'll move it to the right whilst holding on the shift key then i'll grab the type tool one more time highlight this whole thing and this time around i'll be using the left align and just click on ok i think i'll have to bring this back over here using my move tool so let's change the name to theona labina yeah i think it's okay so i can select these two names using the sorry let me zoom in a little bit using the move tool you see whilst we have this at the center i can just click and drag them towards the center like so um usually i'll have to bring it here but i think having it over here should be just fine we are going to go with this again Control s to save it up all right so the next information is the name no, I don't feel comfortable with this name. It's it's a bit too long for me. So let's let's make it. Yeah, let's make this. I don't think I can even pronounce this. Or oh, na. Yeah, let's just go with this. <laughs> so um, I'm going to group this up. Control G. Call it um name. I like to keep my work organized, so it makes it a lot easier when I'm identifying them. I don't like the spacing here, so um, let's go back to character. And close it up using this I sorry this slider over here so I can bring it closer I think about 200 negative 200 should be just fine they are a bit closer now I like it this way so um, after the name we have the date so I'll create a new group third icon from the right and let's call it um, date now for the date I'll be using the rectangle tool first so I'll create a shape like so about this big let's zoom in then I'll use the move tool to make it um about the same width and height sorry about the same width as the name it doesn't really matter what matters is it is centered but again it all depends on what you want to use this for so yeah i think something like this is looking okay then i can add in my text so i'll go into the type tool and i'll just type my information in there now notice i don't click on the rectangle itself that way everything i type is going to be inside i don't want that i want to have that flexibility of moving my text around so i'm going to click outside the rectangle then add in the date so let's go ahead and copy the date saturday 21st november so i'll paste it here like so obviously i'll have to change this to the zero and also reduce the size it's looking ridiculously big and obviously I'm also not going to make this bold so um, book let's go back to the book version and make this about 12 points so let's make this shorter let's make it sat sat then 21st November so that's going to be like so November should be 11 right 2020 All right this is this is looking cool so I'll place this in here like so and you can see already it even looks you no know one let me make it the bold version or probably let me make it bold so that at least it's consistent so the rectangle is even huge uh, it's bigger than what i even initially wanted it to be so i'm going to reduce the size and make it about this big now we want to add in some style so let's go back to the shapes tool this time around let's grab the polygon tool we are going to create a um, sorry a triangle so it should be a three-sided polygon and just click and drag fast holding down the shift key so i can create um, a rectangle like this well it doesn't really matter we can always just alter the shape so something like this should be should be just fine then i'll double click and select the yellow color from here now what we are going to do is with the move to selected we are going to place this on that like so let's flip this around so click on any of the edges when you see these three icons you know that your transform options are active right click and go to flip horizontal so i'll place it somewhere around here like so and i think this is looking cool 
now um, let me go ahead and rasterize this because I'll be deleting certain portions so rasterize layer then I'll be using the rectangular marquee tool because I want a straight line and I'll create a selection around the upper body like so so making sure that that polygon is active I'll just delete that upper body so just hit delete and I'm left with just this part and this is what I am looking for so let's go ahead and add in the rest of the information um, I'll probably just highlight this whole thing and just copy them so let me zoom in now I'll just click over here so that um, Photoshop uses the same um, settings for the next information I'm going to type so when I start typing or pasting in the information is just going to use the exact same settings I have for the out top one so I don't have to go in and make changes again so I'll put this on top because it just came in and probably change the time to bold and the venue also to bold now let's fit this to screen and see what you are working it this is looking nice already and let me see if there's any other information so colors I'll just copy that as well oops undo I'll just copy that as well type to paste it in here now the bold version is okay but what I want to do is I don't like having the colors as a text I actually want them to be the actual colors so what I'll do is I'll just delete this whole thing I better so you know what let's leave it in for a second I'll just be using the rectangle tool I'll draw two rectangles or two perfect squares like so or I can just draw one and duplicate so control J and I'll use the move tool to bring this on the other side so the second one I'm just going to double click since it is a shape and select the yellow color so basically everyone knows that it is just gold and royal blue so I don't necessarily have to type it in here I can just say hey these are the colors and you can look at them so in case someone doesn't know the name of the colors the person can just look at the color itself and get a fitting attire just from looking ah, am I making sense <laughs> I hope I'm making sense because I'm just fumbling so the person can just look at the colors and get an attire which fits that rather than going to look at the names and find out what uh, those colors are and the last part is going to be the civil player I, I've searched for this before RSVP I think uh, responde civil player <laughs> my French is all over the place so I think it means please respond yeah I don't know why it means please respond but that's what we are working with so I'll just go ahead and change this information as well so basically um that is it I'm not adding any form of weird let me put this on top and highlight these three and group them up and call them colors because why not so um, let me bring this at the bottom somewhere around here should be fine um, colors somewhere around here should be fine date and time let's try to keep um, or gauging with my eyes the distance between them so date name yeah everything is looking quite uniform so far yeah I think something like this is cool now um, I'm not adding these weird uh, what do you call it wedding borders but in case you want to do that you can always go in for that so um, open file location I have a bunch of them but um, I'm not always comfortable using them so in case you want to use any of them you can definitely go in for that anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos please click on the subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo for Final Concept and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.